thefootballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook here at the 2017 Senior Bowl with Tennessee Volunteer Quarterback Josh Dobbs. Josh, appreciate you taking time, man. I wish you the best of luck moving forward. First question I want to ask, man, one thing that I like about quarterback play is how they handle situations. And I think you excel in situational awareness. When the game is on the line, you seem to zero focus in and able to stay calm in a sea of calamity. How is that process for you as a quarterback? Because I play running back, and I know I have to focus on my job. But how is that process for you as a QB? Uh, when you're in those situations, you, you just fall back on your training. So you fall back on those times in the summer when there's a lot less pressure, there's no one in there watching you. And those habits that you create then, those are the habits you fall back on you know, when, when the game's on the line and you got to go down and score to get the victory for your team. So it's all about practicing game simulation, putting yourself in the situation that you're going to be week in and week out when the game's on the line. So when you get to that situation, it's just another walk in the park. Now, w one thing I think that's for me is underrated about your game is how you're able to maintain that calm against pressure. What do you think is one part of your game right now that's being vastly underrated? <laughs> I think, I mean, I think a, a lot of things, of course, that. Um, my passing ability, my accuracy, um, you know, just go back and, and watch the film. That's how I feel like. But, you know, understand um, everyone's, I, everyone is entitled to their own opinion. I understand that. So I'm, I'm not, you know, big into reading on that and, and reading into other people's opinions. I'm just focused on myself. How can I be the best quarterback I can be during this week and during this opportunity I have? And how can I show that to my future employer? So, you know, I understand that. And, and that's my um, motivate, not my motivation but that's my goal um, while I'm down here just to stay focused on the task at hand and stay um, focused in on just being the best quarterback that I can be in controlling what I can control. Now a lot of people tend to uh, this is this is the part I think that people watch on TV they don't really understand they'll see like some quarterbacks to be you know hooping and hollering you know getting guys revved up some quarterbacks be uh, be silent you I think you're more of a in between you're a calm leader is that form of leadership you think for you and your team most beneficial or do you think everyone has to be one way? I think of course there's various different ways to lead and they all are all can be successful it depends on how you do it and the influence that you have so you know me I'm, I just want to be consistent in my approach you know my team under knows that whether I had a long day a good day whether I came off the best game of my career or the worst game of my career they know that Sam Josh Dobbs is showing up on Monday ready to go and ready to improve and ready to help his teammates um, continue to grow as football players so that's my leadership style and you know calm cool and collect it. At the end of the day, it's a game of football. It's a game we love, a game we've all been playing since we were five. So just go out, have fun, enjoy it, be calm, and just go out and execute. And that's how I feel. And final question, if you can go back and talk to your 17-year-old self, what piece of advice would you give them moving forward? Oh... <laughs> deep, question, deep question, deep question. You know, my 17 self, very naive. Um, but I would tell my 17, I don't, I wouldn't change much. I would tell my 17 self that you're on the right path. You're doing good things and continuing to stay humble, stay focused on the task at hand. Don't let things get too big for you, um, and and don't become too big for the game itself and the people around you. And if you do that, you'll be successful moving forward. We had a great day of practice today. We wish you the best of luck moving forward. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you.